हेलो फ्रेंड्स व्हाट्स एप सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू फिजिकल पॉलिसी इन दिस वीडियो हियर विल स्टार्ट गवर्नमेंट बजटिंग इन इंडिया हम लोग देखेंगे इस वीडियो में कि गवर्नमेंट बजटिंग किस तरह से होता है उसके क्या क्या प्रोविजंस हैं व्हाट इज़ द प्रोसेस वो हाउ इज़ इट क्लासिफाइड एंड सो ऑन सबसे पहले तो वी विल स्टार्ट विथ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अरेंजमेंट फॉर बजट मेकिंग सो इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिया आर्टिकल 112 स्पेसिफाइज और टॉक्स अबाउट एनुअल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट दैट द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट हैज़ टू प्लेस बिफोर द पार्लियामेंट एंड एनुअल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इज़ नथिंग बट द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ रिसीट्स एंड एक्सपेंडिचर्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट सो वॉट एवर इज द इनकम ऑफ गवर्नमेंट एंड वॉट एवर इज द एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ गवर्नमेंट दैट इज मैंशन इन एनुअल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इसी को हम लोग हमारे नॉर्मल टर्म में बजट बोलते हैं ओके एनुअल फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट इज़ अ constitutional term and we call it colloquially budget now in any budget there are two accounts in government of india budget there are two accounts one is revenue account one is capital account we will see what is the meaning of both of these revenue account is a account where it is an account of current receipts of government and current expenditure see what is the meaning of current i will i will explain to you the meaning of current expenditure and current receipts is that these are such receipts or expenditures which do not arise from or give rise to any past or future receipts or expenditures meaning ye aise receipts ya expenditure hote hai aise income ya expenditure hote hai jiska bhutkal mein kisi एक्सपेंडिचर या रिसीट से कोई संबंध नहीं होता है या फिर भविष्य में आने वाले किसी एक्सपेंडिचर या रिसीट के साथ में इसका कोई संबंध नहीं होगा ये इस करंट ईयर के लिए है इस करंट टाइम के लिए है इसीलिए उसको करंट रिसीट्स एंड एक्सपेंडिचर बोलते हैं बेसिकली दे डू नॉट क्रिएट एनी एसेट और एनी लाइबिलिटी फॉर द गवर्नमेंट सो दे आर नोन एज करंट एक्सपेंडिचर और करंट रिसीट्स ओके नाउ वॉट इज कैपिटल अकाउंट कैपिटल अकाउंट रेवेन्यू अकाउंट का बिल्कुल उल्टा है उसमें है कि दे आर द अकाउंट ऑफ एसेट्स और लाइबिलिटीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट मीनिंग सच एक्सपेंडिचर्स विच विल क्रिएट लाइबिलिटी फॉर द गवर्नमेंट और क्रिएट एन एसेट फॉर द गवर्नमेंट सच एक्सपेंडिचर और रिसीट्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन द कैपिटल अकाउंट जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल सरकार ने कोई कर्ज लिया ओके गवर्नमेंट हैज़ टेकन सम लोन so it is a kind of receipt but the government has to give be give back this loan it is it is a liability therefore it comes under capital account okay so this is known as capital account where the government either gains some assets or loses some asset or gains some liabilities or loses some liabilities so they are known as capital account whereas in current account such things don't happen government does not gain any asset does not lose any asset does not gain any liability or does not lose any liability that you have to keep in mind now to distinguish between the two i have given you here one example simple example see if the government if the loan is given by government to private persons for example government of india has given loan to some private person say its employee say there is an employee of government and government of india has given him a loan of 5 lakh rupees okay at 10% per annum interest rate this is a simple example i am giving you so the government has given loan meaning that government will get back this loan after some time so it becomes an asset for the government it goes into the capital account it is a future income government will receive this 5 lakh rupees principal after certain time so the it becomes an asset for the government it will get this amount back so it goes in capital account whereas the interest which is earned per annum on this for example 10% per annum so 50000 per annum is the interest that the government will earn and interest received on this loan will go to the revenue account okay because this interest does not create any asset or liability wo us saal mein it is obtained in the current year for a given year 50000 rupees and then it is it can be spent in that year also so this interest received does not create any asset or liability therefore it goes in revenue account this is a simple concept so the principal amount is capital account interest received is the revenue account okay because these are the current receipts these are the capital uh, expenditure 
now we will see what is a textbook classification of budget accounts so whatever we are talking in this is basically we are talking uh, what is given in the textbook what is given in the macroeconomic textbook of ncrt class 12 okay usme kis tarah se diya hua hai wo main aapko bata raha hu yahan pe so government budget i have already told you it is divided into two accounts revenue budget and capital budget in revenue budget there are revenue receipts and revenue expenditure in capital budget also there are capital receipts and capital expenditure then in revenue receipts the revenue receipts can be either tax receipts or non tax receipts in revenue expenditure it can be either plan expenditure or non plan expenditure i'll explain to you what is the meaning of this in capital expenditure these are either plan capital expenditure or non plan capital expenditure same as revenue expenditure okay you just need to keep one thing in mind that this plan and non plan this terminologies these are the old terminologies they have already been abolished in india so bharat sarkar ne already plan non plan ye classification ko abhi nahi rakha hai they have already done away with this but ek iska matlab ye tha ki jab india mein planning commission tha before the niti ayo so it used to have some plan five year plans and the money used to get allocated to different purposes for different schemes for different projects and such expenditure was known as plan expenditure it was for some productive purposes like schemes or project it was based on five year plans whereas non plan expenditure was for non productive areas like salaries pensions okay which were not for a particular project not for a particular uh, scheme like that okay similarly in capital expenditure also plan and non plan but one thing important here is that the government has already stopped classifying our expenditure into plan and non plan from 2017 budget okay so we just need to keep this in mind now we'll look at the different uh, examples here and we'll try to classify them into whether they will go to revenue expenditure revenue uh, receipts uh, capital receipts or capital expenditure okay so the income tax which is obtained by the government it will go into revenue receipts okay because these are the current receipts of the government these are the income of the government interest receipts interest receipts will again go to revenue account we have already seen this these are revenue receipts profits from psus these are again revenue receipts these are the profits earned by psus see one difference is if the government sells some psu if the government is selling it it will go to the capital receipts because government is losing its asset here here it is just the profit government is not losing any asset scheme expenditure scheme expenditure again this is the revenue expenditure because the government is spending it on some scheme in the current year interest payments the payments which are done by the government government is paying some interest to uh, say any external agency or reserve bank of india or to the market so these are again revenue expenditure now salaries and pensions salaries and pensions are revenue expenditure and again these are non plan these are the compulsory non plan expenditure non productive defense expenditure defense expenditure is again revenue expenditure market borrowings these are capital receipts because government is taking loan and government is creating a liability here so this is an example of capital receipts proceeds of disinvestments jaisa maine bola na psu yadi bech diya disinvest kar diya so again this is a capital receipt this is a this is a less uh, fall in assets of the government now recoveries of loans granted by government this is again capital receipts so government is recovering its loans for example government of india had given loan to the say government of maharashtra so and government of india is getting back this principal amount it is recovering this loan so basically its asset is reducing now because already the asset was in the form of loan now it is being paid back so there is a difference in assets now so it is again capital receipts constructing highways and bridges so we can consider it to be the capital expenditure because it is done on produ in uh, producing some capital for the country some people argue that it can be revenue expenditure also because this is a kind of uh, current expenditure but if it is creating some asset then it is ca capital expenditure for the government if it is an asset for the government acquisition of land again it is capital expenditure because it is a asset for the government then giving loans to state government again it is capital expenditure state government is taking loan from the central government therefore it becomes asset for the central government because it will receive back that amount after some time 
एंड सोशल सर्विस बाय गवर्नमेंट लाइक कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ओल्ड एज होम अगेन दिस इज क्रिएशन ऑफ एसेट्स सो दिस इज कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर सो गवर्नमेंट इज क्रिएटिंग सम कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर फॉर यू नो कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ओल्ड एज होम सो दीज आर द एसेट्स ऑफ द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एंड दिस बिकम अ कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर As I've already told you, plan and non-plan, uh, this classification has been abolished by the government. The government has already announced in the budget speech of two thousand sixteen seventeen that we will do away with plan and non-plan because this was an old system. It is no longer required, and it was implemented from next year. That is seventeen eighteen. Say, isko lagu kia gaya. It was implemented from financial year two thousand seventeen and eighteen. Five year plans have also been abolished because planning commission was abolished. okay planning commission was abolished so the last uh, five year plan was the 12th five year plan which was from 2012 to 17 and once the 17 uh, 31st march uh, 2017 after that there was no five year plan and niti ayog came up with different strategy so once this five year plans were abolished this plan and non plan also had no meaning so it was abolished from 2017 onwards what is the background for abolition of plan and non plan See, it is here that in two thousand eleven itself, uh, C. Ranga Rajan, who was a former uh, RBI governor also, and he was also the chairman of Economic Advisory Council. So there was a committee formed in two thousand eleven, and it recommended that this plan and non-plan expenditure should be abolished. So he had uh, recommended this in two thousand eleven, and he said that the focus should be on the end use of the funds, right? So whatever the expenditure government is doing. so instead of looking at it from the perspective of plan and non plan okay plan and non plan we should look at the end use where it is being used who is using it whether it is doing some development or not so that is important that is what he mentioned here <coughs> and that is the reason why this uh, recommendation was accepted in 2016 17 and it was applied from 2017 onwards one more thing he mentioned that the plan expenditure uh were done as per the recommendations of planning commissions five year plans uh and uh, but but this plan expenditure uh, were the important expenditure but the quantum was very less so in the entire budget if you look at the budget before 2016 17 you will see that the plan expenditure amount is less say it is about just 10% whereas non non plan expenditure is 90% so if this plan expenditure is only a 10% of the total budget then what is the use of classification in such way right so the quantum is less although it is more important so there is no point of classifying it and it was done as per the recommendation of planning commission planning commission has a very important role in plan expenditure uh, this this process and since planning commission is already replaced by niti ayog five year plans have been replaced by medium to long term planning system and therefore this plan and non plan expenditure was abolished already in budget of 2016-17 our finance minister had classified the centrally sponsored scheme into two categories core of the core scheme and core schemes so already the classification of scheme were changed to core of the core and core scheme so pehle jaisa plan non plan ye sab kuch hota tha plan mein kuch schemes aati thi uh, planning commission ki us tarah se wo already abolish kar diya gaya 2016-17 mein hi and then uh, uh, at that time our finance minister was mr arun jetli and he had announced this for the first time that the schemes will now be classified as core of the core and core scheme in core of the core scheme schemes such as manrega national social assistance program etc these schemes are coming whereas in the core schemes pradhan mantri awas yojana national health mission swachh bharat mission white revolution green revolution all these schemes are the core schemes these are the classification done each year now uh, for the centrally sponsored scheme then there are cer certain central sector schemes also central sector scheme meaning 100% sponsorship is given by the government of india they are known as central sector scheme an example of that is crop insurance scheme regional connectivity scheme right so these are the example of central sector scheme where 100% sponsorship is by government of india whereas in centrally sponsored scheme it is done in the 60 40 pattern so 60% is given by government of india 40% is given by the government of state and in the state government uh, for the you know normal states and for the special categorized state it is 90 10 so 90% is given by government of india and 10% is given by the particular government of that state state government 
so that is centrally sponsored scheme and central sector scheme so that is how it is classified in our budget this is just a very brief uh, you know uh, look for towards the budget as to how we classify the budget what are the different components you can see in the budget what is revenue account what is capital account i hope you have understood from the next video we will we, in the next video we will actually see how budget making happens in india thank you